No, we can't start yet. Why? I'm not done. What is going on, guys? Today we're back, and today I still haven't taken a shower today, and it's are you 5 p.m. In and the video, take a shower. No. Dang, you got tan. I know, right? I was out in the sun for the first time in a while. And I also haven't changed clothes, but I'm not going to because it's my new fave. But yeah, uh, today, Quinn and I have decided we are going to be reading each other's Text, text mess messages. Text messages. So I'm warning you guys now, there's probably going to be a lot of editing in this video. Probably some black bars. A lot. <laughs> a lot. We are family-friendly YouTubers. We may or may not be family-friendly texters. Um... Communicators. <laughs> FaceTimers. We don't FaceTime very much. I miss it when we did. No, I don't. Just scroll away. <laughs> I already saw one funny one. <laughs> you should go to the like the information thing and look and show pictures. them the pictures. Uh, that's the first one. <laughs> There's him and a dog. <laughs> Daily dose of memes. We make fun of Dylan a little bit. So you guys know I watch a lot of friends, right? Well, I sent this to Quentin. He'd already seen it, but it says mm -hmm. when it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year. Hopefully some of you get this, but it's that guy who played Chandler and he, he got like addicted to alcohol, I think, but <laughs> it was funny. Well, Back when Rose got stung by a bee. <laughs> and then I said, maybe because he misses Monica, LOL. We always use exclamation points and stuff because we think that's funny. Because it's super cringy, so it's super funny. Yeah. We haven't used raw XD for a while. Ah! We say lols and lols. Before Quentin comes over, this is usually how it goes. How long till you enter my household? Eight minutes? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Dick Sporting Goods would have any good workout equipment? Doubt it, LOLOL. <laughs> Fuck, I want to look like Face Sensor. Yeah, Face Sensor's pretty cute. Insert the picture of you and Face Sensor at the pool. Quentin correcting my uh, grammar. He always sends me pictures of my tweets, it makes fun of me. <laughs> Can you have me proofread your tweets because your grammar angers me? I said some things instead of some things. My bad! And then I said I used Siri because I was driving, so I said some things. It, it, it ain't my fault. Mm -hmm. And then he said, you shouldn't be using Siri and driving, and I said a bunch of emojis. <laughs> Please skip to three minutes and try to watch this, is what I said about Dylan's new video. <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, but the cringe is too real. And he said, ha ha ha, I watched the first minute-ish and left. We've told Dylan his videos are crap, and he says that he acknowledges it, but he won't change it. I said, just smile and try to have fun. I don't know if it's possible for Dylan to have fun while filming. We're trying to help him change, okay? We don't want him to have to go back to public school with all the, the mean people that make fun of him for following his dreams. Me neither. <laughs> Maybe he'll make quality content like me one day. <laughs> I sent a text a few days later. I actually went to get workout equipment today, so where should I go? <laughs> Supplement Giant has some, I do believe. And if that doesn't look cute, then maybe dicks, as in Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> and then I sent the F-U-K again. <laughs> Quentin and I sent the F-U-K. It's not a bad word, okay? It just means... It's Funnier. Yeah, it's just funny. Because if you take off the C, you gotta say it fast. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you know the way he says it in my bathtub sometimes? He'll go, fuck. Or something like that. Maybe, well, it's in the hard drive. I don't know if I put it in my videos or not. But that's what we text each other. And then sometimes we say buck, B-U-K. And that's, mm -hmm. that, that means the same thing, but it's just funny. <laughs> and sometimes we say rassle. Rassle, chacks, <laughs> rassle, cooch. <laughs> rassle just means... Rats, but rassle. We have our own damn language. <laughs> and then I said, are you with your faggot still? Or do you want to go with? I was asking, do you want to come with me to the workout equipment place? Mm -hmm. And we call our girlfriends faggots. Like, I'm still with Like, FGTS. Yeah. Not actually, actually spell it. You yeah. guys will see it. Yeah. So whenever I'm hanging out with Paris and he's like, hey, can I come over or something? I'll be like, yeah, I'm with my, F my FGT. Give me 30 minutes or something like that. And then he goes, nope, my faggot has strep or something because her throat was hurting. And then I go, ew. And then he goes, once Michelle gets home with McDonald's, I can come to your house. <laughs> then we can go to working out places. We don't really say come, C-O-M-E, very much. Because we like to live life on the edge and be a little edgy. But we didn't think people would ever see these, so we were we as edgy did. as we could be. Oh, can I put this, this word in? I don't think I can. Starts with a C. You guys can guess what it is, but <laughs> we're not going to elaborate. He sent me a picture of someone's tweet of my description without your link in it, so. I'm sorry. Is it going to be in this one? Yeah. yeah. Liar. It will. You guys better check. And if it's not, tweet so he can send me another picture. <laughs> Quentin goes, once Breeze, that Bree is his girlfriend, once Bree's done getting her nails done, can I come over with her? We always say over like that, too. Or he does. O-V capital R. Oh, you text me and then it brought me to the bottom. <laughs> that Dang was a it. little troll. This is Quentin's side of the text. He said, love me some Milo. He sent me a YouTube video. He's a funny politician kind of guy. <laughs> he told me to watch it and I said, what is that? And then I said, I saw BBC and got scared. If you don't know what BBC means, I'm, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> If you're above God. the age of 13, you probably have heard of it. Yeah. And if you're below the age of 11 and have heard of it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Quentin and I left my house at the same time. I took my R8 and he was going to McDonald's in his Jeep. I was taking Paris home and he said, I just heard sirens. Did your 
get pulled over? I said, nope, not yet. He said, well, the cops are out and about, mister. And I said, Fuck. And then you said, I've waited 100 minutes for my <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Sir, are you alive? Yes. That was whenever I hurt my neck. He said, did the doctor say quit the gay flips? <laughs> And I said, ha ha ha, no, she said, you almost died. <laughs> Dig deed. Oh, Buck, what exactly did she say? And I said, that I should be okay and get a neck brace and take meds, and I almost broke the bad word. So does this mean I'm taking over the Midwest meetup filming and editing? I said, ha ha, as in, no, I, I got it, bro. Thanks, as bro. in, my videos aren't quality enough for you, are they? No. They're not. Okay, no offense to Greg Rowe, okay? He's one of the guys who went to my meetup. He stopped by for like a day. He's like literally one of the most outstanding athletes. He's so cool. I thought he was a myth because I saw his page with a bunch of other people, so mm -hmm. I thought it was just like an account name. He's literally an Olympic gymnast who's so freaking good. He was doing like the toilet bowl stuff. He was doing crazy flips, and he was really cool, but no one thought he was going to look like what he like <laughs> what he looked like. <laughs> we all thought he's going to be like a ripped 20-year-old gymnast, but he looked like that. He quit and texts me. He says, what the F? Is this Greg Rowe? I said, yeah, he looks like a 40-year-old gamer and he said I thought he'd be 20 rip gymnast <laughs> and then I said nope FaceTime me soon for the vlog and then that's when you FaceTime me and I was like you know how I hurt myself well there's got to be somebody to get my back in the shower I'm trying to get to the top and it is so hard sometimes we talk about other youtubers too not usually in a bad light we're usually like hey that guy is funny. Yeah, good video. We're usually talking about that leafy like, guy. He's hilarious. Anybody <laughs> remember him? We both like H3H3. I just figured out he had Tourette's like a few days ago. I didn't know that. Love H3H3 and like PewDiePie and them. I think they're funny. I don't know how many of you guys watch them, but if you're watching this video, you probably don't just watch the little flipping videos. You probably, mm -hmm. you know, you probably watch my other videos. Mm -hmm. And Quentin sent me this one and it says, Jake Paul's old tweets were family friendly. And I said, ha ha. And he said, is your house squeaky clean? Because this was during the meetup. And I said, of course not. This one was today. You said, what do you do in three days? I said, nothing, I don't think. He said, what if I come over around 3.30? I said, well, sure. What do you want to do today? He said, no clue. Kiss a little? I said, okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> and you said, ugh. And then I said, kind of want to sit and do nothing today and not film. This was before I wasn't going to film a video. Yeah. I was going to take it off and help clean my house, but my house is getting clean. Then he said, well, okay. And then he said, on my way. And I said, KKKK. And then he just now sent me the picture that you guys saw on the screen a minute ago. <laughs> All right, so those are some of the text messages. Now we're going to go through the, uh, the pictures on the details of our text messages. We're not going to go through the text to find them. We're just going to review him. Quentin sends me a lot of memes about him and Quayler. He still wants it to live on. We all know it. Right. We text way too much. Juke Squad will be at Playlist Live. Dylan Mitchell. Oh God, I will fight him. Kim, we don't need that drama. Then you said you'd have to be there to fight him. <laughs> We're so mean to Dylan. <laughs> we love Dylan, by the way. This is when Dylan was going through a hard time whenever he was hanging out with some people we didn't want him the to hang out with. people. Yeah, he was falling into gooses. He was hanging out with the wrong crowds. So we were we were being kind of mean to him because we wanted him to get back on the right path. And he's, <laughs> we were being mean to him so he's our friend again. <laughs> Makes sense. This one's definitely me. Uh, Quentin sent this picture to me and said, this is so you. And I said, yeah, when you're rich and antisocial AF. <laughs> I'm not rich yet, or else I'd have that house. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna go through our safe Snapchat. We have a 500 day streak, everybody. <laughs> Damn, I'm, sad. I'm gonna <laughs> suck, your, suck your teeth out when I get back. You zombie. <laughs> I said, I will kiss you until you cry. Tanner said, F U K with a thinking emoji. <laughs> they didn't understand any of that. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my mom! We have so many freaking funny gay Snapchats. Here's a dog with some liquor. Oh, my stomach hurts. We also make fun of Dylan Mitchell's tweets. We send each other oh. pictures of his Twitter and we'd be like, what is wrong with this kid? We make fun of Dylan way too much. <laughs> this relates to the video. Whoa there, pal. That was pretty edgy. This is Quentin when he was a young cowboy. We lad. A little whippersnapper. <laughs> we were taking pictures and we haven't taken Instagram pictures for a video in a long time. Yeah, because these are the, slim, thick. These are usually the ones that don't make Instagram. <laughs> some of some of them do. I'm not sure. All right, guys, we're gonna find one more funny picture. Uno mas fotografia. <laughs> and then we're gonna end the video. So let's find a really good one. We made fun of kids at our old school that used to make fun of us a lot. Everyone was literally like, "You have a YouTube channel? You're so gay." Mm -hmm. And then I go look up people's names from our school, and almost all of them have a YouTube channel now. I'm gonna go into my Snapchats, my save snap for the last one. I found one. <laughs> Where was this? We were on a bus going we somewhere. We were on a bus going to Philly. Philadelphia from New York. That is me with a sour strip on my face with a poop emoji hat from fan mail. And Quentin going, Wah. And yeah, guys, that is basically it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We might do it again someday. There's yeah. just more text gonna come. Maybe for channels like Danny Duncan's, we could show all of them. I know. If I keep saying when I'm 18, I'll show the hard drive, so. 
July 24th, 2018. Well, now we're getting close to you being 18, I'm a little scared. I know. <laughs> like a year and a month and then the hard drive's being released. Hopefully my audience is mature enough by then and will accept me for who I am. <laughs> but until then, I'm gonna keep bleeping out all the cuss words. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like and share with the friends if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. <gasps> Peace out! Hey, half of this bag. It ain't fault.